Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 259. Diastolic Heart Murmurs. What are the two diastolic heart murmurs? The two diastolic heart murmurs include aortic regurgitation and mitral stenosis. Describe the murmur caused by aortic regurgitation. Aortic regurgitation can cause an immediate high-pitched blowing diastolic decrescendo murmur which has a wide pulse pressure when chronic, patients with this condition can present with bounding pulses and head bobbing. What are some of the conditions that can lead to aortic regurgitation? Aortic regurgitation can happen due to aortic root dilation, bicuspid aortic valve, endocarditis, or rheumatic fever. What maneuver increases the intensity of murmurs caused by aortic regurgitation? The maneuver that causes this is the hand grip maneuver. What decreases the intensity of murmurs caused by aortic regurgitation? Vasodilators decreases the intensity of the murmurs caused by aortic regurgitation. Describe the murmur of mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis can cause a diastolic murmur that has an opening snap, and the opening snap happens due to an abrupt halt in the leaflet motion in a diastole after a rapid opening due to fusion of the leaflet tips. This murmur is referred to as a delayed rumbling late diastolic murmur. One other thing to note about this is that in mitral stenosis, because of the stenotic mitral valve, the left atrium has a much higher pressure than the left ventricle does during a diastole. What condition can lead to mitral stenosis? Mitral stenosis happens secondary to rheumatic fever. What can happen to the left atrium due to chronic mitral stenosis? Chronic mitral stenosis can result in left atrium dilation. What maneuver increases the intensity of murmurs caused by mitral stenosis? Anything that causes an increase in the left atrium return, such as an expiration, will cause the increase in intensity of the murmurs caused by mitral stenosis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.